Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us once again in another video. On the table, guys, we got Biggie. He's a tiny little Maltese. Uh, again, guys, uh, dogs are just coming in very, very knotted at this time of year. Biggie is real knotted. Uh, he's got some major mats in his back leg. As you can see, there's no way we're getting a comb through any of this. So the purpose of this video is we want to explain that prepping the dog especially in a situation like this, is so important. We want to get all this stuff off prior to the bath. So we're really just going to give Biggie a short haircut and get him in the bath because it's just going to make the shampoo uh, able to do its job a lot better. There's no point in bathing him and uh, with all these knots when it has to come off anyway. As a matter of fact, it would be a big mistake to bathe him like this because the water saturating these knots, it's just gonna make it 10 times harder for you to get it out later. So again, the purpose of this video is we're getting all this stuff off prior to the bath. We're gonna start off by using a five blade. Guys, I'm using, we're going right to a five blade. Very short cut here. Uh, I'm gonna start back here and just get some of these knots off right here. So let's see how quick this five blade is just gonna take it all off. And the, the knots aren't severe, severe, but they are turning into mats. As we're going along, guys, I really wanna thank all of our subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing to the channel. I uh, want to thank you guys for all of the really nice comments you've been leaving. Uh, we really love it all, and uh, we try to get back to everyone, uh, but we really, really appreciate it, and thank you so much for supporting our channel. Anthony and I really appreciate it. Here we go, guys. We're just going to, again, just give Biggie a really, really short cut gonna do this five all over Another good thing about giving a short cut like this is you won't have to worry about it for a while. So if you have a dog that isn't too fond of the grooming, by giving a short cut like this, you're minimizing you know, having to do it and having the dog be stressed out. Good boy, Biggie.
Okay guys, so now Biggie is just fully prepped. We took off all of this hair so that we don't have to deal with it later. Uh, did some brushing on his tail. I did a little brushing on his head to give him some personality. So he'll still look cute in the end because he'll have, you know, a fuller head and a fluffy tail. But again, the purpose of the video, guys, just get all this hair off. Now we can get him in the tub and that shampoo's gonna be able to really get in there and clean his skin a lot better than if all those mats were there. And we save all that like blow drying time, uh, no point in bathing him with all this extra hair on him. So we get it all off prior to the bath. So we're gonna get Biggie in the tub now. Good boy, Biggs. Good boy, Biggie, good boy. Good boy, Biggie. You happy? You happy all that stuff's off you? Are you happy? You feel weird? You feel weird? <laughs> I love you, Biggie. <laughs> okay, so we got Biggie in the tub now. Um, Biggie's not too crazy about the bath, so we're gonna do our best and make it as comfortable as possible for him. We're using the Oatmella shampoo down on this, guys, like we always like to use. Oatmella stuff is great. Uh, really helps the skin, moisturizes. Uh, it's great at, to use as a medicated bath too. Helps with itching and all that stuff. So let's get started. Check our water. Make sure we're nice and warm. Oh, bigs. Want some water? No? Well, okay, buddy. Oh boy, you're all right. You're okay. It's okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. I like to kind of let them do whatever they want to do. If he wants to climb up on me, that's fine. You know, and just start slowly. Don't go right at their head. You know, just kind of give them a little, little getting used to process. You know, but it's important that we we wet them down real well. So that shampoo just gets to that skin like we're talking about. And I wet the head last, come down his ears. Come here, Biggs. It's okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Just trying to direct the water as good as I can, you see? As opposed to, you know, don't squirt the nose. If you grab a little hair here, you know, just a little direct the water the best you can and you get used to doing stuff like that when you do it so often Anthony's an excellent bather he usually does all the baths but he's behind the camera right now so I'm doing the bath Alrighty, grab some shampoo I got about that much shampoo and what I do is you know just kind of starting here and I'm just working it in with my hand and just, you know, releasing it as I go. And I'm just gonna spread it all around him. I got him on the ears, grab a little more. You know, I got it like this in two hands. Just spread it all around, all around his feet like this. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just getting ready for the, the big scrub session I'm going to do because I'm going to add a little more water to this and then I'm going to do a really good scrubbing. Okay. Now we add a little bit of water just like this, just trickle, trickling a little water on them. What's up, Biggs? It's okay. Come here, Bubba. Let's go down and I'll, I'll do a nice scrubbing. Good scrubbing on his butt and tail. You know, I pick up this foot like this, get in the pads. My fingers, I like doing baths like this, guys. I like manual baths because I just feel like I can really get in there and know that I'm scrubbing every inch of the dog, you know. Getting in here, getting his little, his little pads, giving him a really good scrubbing. It's okay, Peggy. Get your fingers in there. Get that little muzzle. Come here, Pigs. It's okay. I know. Real quick, real quick. Good boy. Good boy. Then get the ears. Good boy, Piggy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Here we go. Then you let that... Good boy, Piggy. You let that sit on 
you know, for a good five minutes, three minutes. Um, Biggie's not really having any skin problems at all. So, you know, we're just gonna let it sit on for a minute or so. This way the shampoo activates and does, does its job. Uh, so the skin will absorb some of that shampoo and uh, again, just moisturize that skin. And, uh, but again, Biggie's not having any skin problems. And, you know, in, in the process of waiting, I kind of like to go over it a little bit. Again, he does not like his face being done. So gentle, gentle. And you get it done like that. Good boy, Big. That's why I saved the head for last, because you could see his reaction with that. So why upset him right away? Just kind of wet the body down, then do the head last. And then you can just kind of touch it up and <laughs> play with them. Pretend like you're playing with them, but really you're doing a little bit more scrubbing. Yo, good boy, Biggs. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, you're such a good dog, Biggie. Okay, guys, so it's been about, about three minutes, maybe a little longer. So now we're going to do a rinse. Rinse my hands. We're going to rinse them kind of the same way we wet them down in the beginning. Just, I'm not going to go at his head right away. As you can see how he's reacting, he really doesn't like it, so just doing it slowly. And I'm not full throttle on the nozzle either, you know, I'm not, not doing that. I'm, you know, just slightly. He's a little dog, you know. You don't want to hit him full force with the water. You can actually see how healthy his skin is. It's really nice and pink. There's no, there's no irritation or anything. His skin is great. It's just coming off of winter, you know, coming off of winter in New Jersey. It just happens. It happens before you know it. Even if maybe you're like two weeks late or three weeks late on a schedule, schedule grooming um, with the rain that we're having, dog will mat up within a week. It doesn't take long. Okay, so got his body real good. Now I'm going to work his head and I'm coming behind him like this. And again, just going to try to pinpoint the nozzle here. Come here, Baba. Go, boy. And I'm going real light with the water in the neck. Go, boy. Go, boy, Biggs. It's okay, buddy. Go, boy, Biggie. Go, boy, buddy. Almost done, Biggs. Almost done. Good boy. So now I'm just gonna check for shampoo. Always look at your water first. You know, if you still see suds in your water, you know that there's still shampoo coming off of them. But I'm pretty sure I rinsed them really good. What I do is I like to tuck my hand up under here because that's where it'll get trapped a lot. The shampoo will get trapped in here. And uh, we really want to rinse well, guys. You don't want to leave any excess shampoo on a dog because they will get irritated later when that shampoo dries up. So just kind of feeling his coat. The armpits here too. You just want to feel, if you feel anything, you know, slippery, then you know you got to rinse more. But he's, he's really rinsed. We, we gave him a good rinse. That's it, Biggs. You go, boy. I love you, buddy. I'm sorry, Biggie. Here, let's grab a towel. And we're gonna towel you off, Biggs. Go boy, buddy. With the towel, on the other hand, I like to just towel off their head first because they like that. <laughs> Get his nose nice and dry. His ears, give him a good towel dry. You know, there's no force air drying in this. There's nothing to force air. You know, if he was a big golden retriever with a thick coat, you know, then we're using that force air dryer. But on this, you know, we're just using a towel. Towel dry him and, uh, you know, we'll blow dry him and then we'll just finish the process. Really, guys, this is actually a, a, a pretty quick haircut. It's not long. And again, just uh, that prep is everything because what the prep is going to do is exactly what we're saying. It's just going to shorten the whole process for Biggie. Uh, Shampoo is going to work better. The blow dry is going to be quicker now because all we really have to do is blow dry his head and his tail. 
go over them again, and he's done, you know. So if you want to do this, it's a good maintenance clip is what it is. Right, Biggs? You good boy? I love you. I love you, Biggie. Such a good boy. It's okay. I know. We're going to dry you up now. All right, guys. As always, guys, give it up for Biggie for being such a good dog throughout this entire process and letting us show you how to give a dog a short haircut and get rid of those mats. In this video, we can't stress enough how important it is to do the prep work. By doing the prep work, you are definitely going to cut your grooming time in half. Domesticated dogs rely on us for grooming and maintaining their health and well-being, and this haircut is a great haircut to do. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.